Welcome back to the hsebox.com channel. This is a series of videos that will have 20 questions and answer related to different health, safety, and environmental topics. So, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be informed every time we release a new video. The topic for this video is slips, trips, and falls, and related hazards. So, let's get started. Question number one. What is a slip, trip, and fall? A slip, trips, and falls are when a person loses their balance and falls due to a slippery or uneven surface, or a tripping or slipping hazard. Question number two. What is a common cause of slips, trips, and falls? Poor housekeeping. Wet or slippery floor surfaces. Uneven floor surfaces. And inadequate lighting are all common causes of slips, trips, and falls. Question number three. What is the most important thing you can do to minimize the risk of slips, trips, and falls? The most important thing to do is to keep your workplace clean and tidy. Ensure that floor surfaces are in good condition and free of debris and that pathways are well lit and free of obstructions. Question number four. What types of flooring can increase the risk of slips, trips, and falls? Flooring with a high gloss finish, tile or marble surfaces, and carpeting with a high pile can all increase the risk of slips, trips, and falls. Question number five. What is the best way to prevent slips, trips, and falls? The best way to prevent slips, trips, and falls is to identify hazardous areas, inspect them regularly, and take corrective action to reduce the risk. Question number six. What type of footwear should be worn in order to minimize the risk of slips, trips, and falls? Shoes with good tread and non-slip soles are recommended to minimize the risk of slips, trips, and falls. Question number seven. What is the best practice for ensuring that spills are cleaned up quickly? Spills should be cleaned up immediately with absorbent materials such as sawdust or cat litter. Question number 8. What should be done to ensure that floors are kept free of clutter? Floors should be kept free of clutter by regularly picking up debris and ensuring that items are stored in their proper place. Question number 9. What type of lighting should be used in order to reduce the risk of slips, trips, and falls? Adequate lighting should be provided in all areas to reduce the risk of slips, trips, and falls. Question number 10. What type of maintenance should be done on floors in order to reduce the risk of slips, trips, and falls? Regular maintenance should be done on floors to ensure that they are in good condition and free of debris. Question number 11. What type of materials should be used to fill in cracks and holes in the floor? Materials such as epoxy, non-skid tape, or rubber mats should be used to fill in cracks and holes in the floor. Question number 12. What type of signage should be used to indicate potential hazards? Signs should be used to indicate potential hazards such as wet floors, uneven surfaces, trip hazards, and more. Question number 13. What types of mats should be used to reduce the risk of slips, trips, and falls? Mats with a non-slip backing should be used to reduce the risk of slips, trips, and falls. Question number 14. What should be done to ensure that stairs are safe and free of hazards? Stairs should be inspected regularly and maintained to ensure that they are in good condition and free of hazards such as loose handrails, broken steps, and trip hazards. Question number 15. What type of training should be provided to employees in order to reduce the risk of slips, trips, and falls? Employees should be trained in proper work practices, such as how to safely navigate around potential hazards and how to properly store materials to avoid trip hazards. Question number 16. What type of flooring should be used in areas with a high risk of slips, trips, and falls? Flooring with a non-slip finish, such as rubber or vinyl, should be used in areas with a high risk of slips, trips, and falls. Question number 17. What type of environment can increase the risk of slips, trips, and falls? An environment with low lighting, cluttered pathways, and slippery surfaces can all increase the risk of slips, trips, and falls. Question number 18. What types of personal protective equipment, PPE, can be used to reduce the risk of slips, trips, and falls? Personal protective equipment such as non-slip shoes, hard hats, and safety harnesses can all be used to reduce the risk of slips, trips, and falls. 
Question number 19. What type of signage should be used to indicate slippery surfaces? Signs should be used to indicate slippery surfaces, such as wet floor signs or caution, slippery surface signs. Question number 20. What should be done to ensure that floors are kept dry and free of liquid spills? Floors should be inspected regularly and maintained in order to ensure that they are kept dry and free of liquid spills. We hope this video helps you to improve your knowledge regarding health, safety, and the environment. If you have any questions let us know in the comments section below. And we are happy to help you. Check our channel for more environmental and safety topics, the link is in the description. Never forget health, safety, and environment is your responsibility as an HSE professional. Stay safe always. Bye bye, see you in the next video.